Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I am so flipping excited to go ahead and get this started. Obviously this is the Get to Work Expansion Pack LP, the first ever expansion for The Sims 4 and I am so beyond ready to literally get to work. So if this is the first time you've ever seen any of my videos here on YouTube, hello, the name is Jen. You can call me Jennifer as my mother calls me, it's whatever, but I'm definitely Jen mostly and I am ex-urban sims here on YouTube and I guess you can say my niche is creating deep enriched storylines for my sims and I basically play off of a storyline setting um, and that sort of thing. I totally feed off your comments, your likes, any sort of input on what you think should happen next in my LPs is pretty much a huge influence on what goes on in these stories. So don't be afraid to voice your opinion um, down below in every video that I create, not just this LP, but all of them. Um, and yeah, so this is going to be the Get to Work LP. This is kind of later than I normally film. So if I'm a little wacky, crazy, tongue-tied, twisted, um, again, I really wanted to get this up for you guys as soon as possible. Yeah, <laughs> really. I thought it was really ironic how a lot of people don't like to work, but yet they like this LP because it is making you work. I don't know. That just the irony was too real. Okay, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and talk about my family. Um, I'm going to have a full detailed storyline thing in the comments down below. No, no, description. Yeah, okay. And you can totally check that out if you want more detailed um, backstory on these guys. But for right now, I'm literally coming up with this on the top of my head and have not officially thought out nor wrote it out yet. So here we go. This is Ace Culver. He is a mischievous, athletic, self-assured kind of bloat. He is extremely outgoing, and he definitely has that Rico Suave persona that ooh, attracts the ladies like flies. Um, he is basically a single parent dad now. He recently split up with his ex, Christine Young, who is a former sim model, believe it or not. And uh, they've been together, Christine and him have been together since they were wee little tots, like pretty much, you know, baby burritos in the little cradle. I mean, they've literally known each other since they were kids and they have fallen in love and fallen out of love. And, you know, she's a very smart, intelligent Sim. She, she really loves, you know, stories and reading novels and romance. And she is also very self-assured. She has a very strong personality and she's extremely freaking creative. You know, being together at such a young age really put a stress on the relationship. They had their daughter, their daughter, their daughter, their daughter Nyla here at such a young age. I, I like literally couldn't even tell you how young it was and you know that really brought them together but also it you know it, it really put a lot of strain uh strain on the relationship causing them to split but because ace here was kind of the breadwinner um at the current time you know he decided to make it easier on christine so she could pursue other pursuits that made her happy um and he would decide to take nyla for a little while um and so you know they have a really close bond she is definitely a daddy's girl for sure she loves her dad so much and you you know, he has a really thick background. Like, he, he used to be a dirty dude, um, to say the least. He has, like, a criminal background a little bit. He's just not necessarily, he hasn't been the best guy he could have been. And he's trying to change his life around, especially, you know, for his, his child and, um, you know, just, just to better his life. And so he wants to become a, I think it's either a cop or a detective. I don't remember which one it is, but he wants to become one of those good guys, I guess you could say. So it's going to be really fun to see with him kind of, you know, go back and forth between his demons and his, um, is he if he actually ends up being a good cop or a bad cop or dirty or not? You know, I'm, I'm excited. I'm totally excited to see how Ace here handles the situation. So you won't see Christine in our LP, but she will be actually residing in Oasis Springs as to where Ace and Nyla here will be um, living in a beautiful house in Willow Creek. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into create a sim a little bit, just showing you a quick overview of the items, not necessarily everything in great detail. Um, just for the simple fact that, you know, I... It takes forever and you know there's other LPers and other simmers here on YouTube who have their videos up and then that way you can kind of get a little bits and pieces here and there and then you know when you download the game or get the game yourself um you'll be able to still have some sort of surprise I guess if that's what you're into I don't know I just feel bad giving it all away but let's start off with the mails because that's what we're at um we're gonna do uh, we're going to change aces every day real quick into this real fast. So this is what he looks like. He is super duper freaking gorgeous. He's actually Armenian, believe it or not. So uh, his hair. Okay, some of the new hairstyles we have um, look a little. Hold on. 
look a little something like this they're very hipster ish like i literally think the guy at starbucks <laughs> who serves me coffee every morning <gasps> has his hairstyle like i'm not even joking i kind of like that so then over here we have like this fabio hairstyle it's pretty fancy actually kind of reminds me of so oh, just the name sawyer from um lost Ooh, yes like especially like this he reminds me of sawyer <laughs> so cute and then over here we have this guy um which is like a little bun hairstyle which looks really 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 nice as well um this hairstyle which is kind of very normal not too crazy um and then this one here which i don't even understand it looks like he just went in for the hairstyle blind i don't know what he did but he definitely um looking a little little crazy with this one i don't like it I don't know. For some reason, I just, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of this hairstyle. Uh, okay, I think there is a couple more. Like, we have this blunt cut top here, which I kind of like. I know. It reminds me of um, another hairstyle that we actually have in game. This guy right here. It reminds me very similar, very similar. It's very similar to this one, but except it's more chopped up at the top there. More military style. Uh, and then we have, I just showed you guys that, right? Okay, because some of these I have peeked at. So if there's anything that I'm kind of redoing here that we've already seen, just excuse me. Just squeeze me for a second. Okay, this one here is really nice. Like, I think even on Ace, this is a very cool style. But I wanted to give him that detective look. So we went with this hairstyle here. So that's the hairstyles for the men. Um, let me see if we have any extra, like, new facial hairs or anything. I don't think we do. I think that I really wish they would add facial hairs, but I'm totally not tripping. Um, and then for the makeup, we've got all sorts of different types of makeup now, which is really freaking exciting. Um, mind you, a lot of this stuff is for the aliens, but I mean, your Sims can wear it too. Like, you know, if they want to, they want to get in touch with their extraterrestrial side. I almost said extra testicle side, but yeah, if you've got a couple testes, girl, two is, oh, three is always better than two. And two is definitely better than one, just saying. So anyway, too much. All right, so yeah, just some more makeup things and situations like that. Actually, if this was in a different color, you could use that as a very strong contour. Okay. Um. All right, so what else do we got? We got some lipsticks and things like that for the boys. Um, The accessories, I think there's a couple of new ones. Oh, Ace, you are looking, you're looking like a boss. Oh, new necklaces. Totally excited about that. So we have this guy here, and obviously... These all come in different flavors. I'm just kind of going through them real quick. Um, and then this one I actually really liked, the the little cutout here. I thought that was very modern. And then we have um, this guy, too, as well, which I thought was kind of nice. The little beads, they're very, <laughs> he looks like a clown. The beads are very, very, very fancy. I like these beads. Okay. Uh, anything else? I don't know if we have any new hats. I do think we do. We have get this little beanie <laughs> I'm sorry, just the way that he looks like right now, it's kind of crazy. My mom's here, by the way, so like if I'm really quiet, I get embarrassed when I'm recording in front of other people. Okay, but uh, yeah, this hair or this hat is freaking ridiculous, and I'm not gonna lie, I think he looks kind of cute with this whole hairstyle. Now, I don't know if there's any new traits or anything. I don't see anything that stands out to me at all, but um, there could be, I guess, you know, I, I might be wrong. Okay, so let me show you some of the individual pieces we have real fast we got like this jean jacket ensemble this really cool little hoodie situation going on uh i love this right here it's just a very um like casual blazer but of course you can totally dress this up and dress it down perfect for you know different like different types of um retail shops you know like a gallery or whatever i think i even use this in his detective career here's this guy i love men who wear vests and just classic basic um like tees and, and and tanks and stuff like that so it's just a very nice little outfit this here is probably one of my favorites i just love the blazer the button up and the little napkin i don't know actually what the name of it is in the in the little pocket there that's pretty cool um this looks like a retail shirt but it also could be a cholo shirt you know i am not here to judge you whatever you want to do boo. whatever you want to do um and i also like that he has tattoos kind of touches in with his um his uh Boop, 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 his bad boy side. By the way, I did not create this sim. Um, I have to tell you, I'll, I'll have the information of who did in the comments down below, but um, typically I don't usually create my sims. I mean, sometimes I do, but not always. Um, and the reason for that being is 
uh, I like to give you guys opportunities to also be in my LPs and um, by creating your own, you know, sims and, and things like that, it gives me a really good opportunity to kind of have you guys in game and um, be a part of this as much as I can possibly have you be. So here's just, I'm just really going through them at this point. I think that's about it. This we got with the update, I think too. So those are the um, tops. And then this is a full outfit here, which is pretty, pretty fancy. I like this a lot. Like this is a really freaking nice suit. I love it. And even with his crazy freaking outfit, um, he looks pretty bomb. So this is what he's going to be wearing as a detective. So I thought this was kind of cool. It definitely speaks detective to me. And um, it's just a nice outfit for every day anyway. Okay. So then we have our little retail worker ensemble. And I think there's aprons too, like the ones, okay, see, so like if you have apron, outfit, sort of deal. Okay, well, don't act like you mind, please. <laughs> act like you're offended, all right. So I think we actually had this already, but uh, let's go to the bottoms, because we do got a couple bottoms. We got these shorts here with the roll-ups on the bottom. We got these long skinny jeans with this belt here. Uh, we've got these high water sort of pants. Um, we've got these really nice kind of casual everyday jeans, which I think they needed super duper freaking bad. I don't know if there's any new accessories. Like, um, I'm not sure though. I don't know if there's new accessories. I think these gloves could be new, but I'm not hundred percent sure. We have like this bracelet here. Um, and then, yeah, so the gloves are new. The bracelet is also new. And then this stack of bracelets is also new too. Very hipster-ish and I love it. Um, okay, so let me show you what else we've got. I think that's it pretty much for the guys. For styled looks, we have a couple new styled looks. Ooh, we have this hottie okay. hipster man. We've got the flood water fabulous. <laughs> he looks like he's moonwalking. Uh, and then I think that's it for all the new, the new outfits there. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other new things in these categories, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to the females uh, for their hairs. Let's just do that. Um, we have this first hairstyle, which Christine is wearing. I love it. It's basically um, a very messy kind of bun. I've seen a lot of these kind of hairstyles on like Tumblr and Pinterest and things like that. So that's what this looks like. It's super duper gorgeous. Lots of new hairstyles for you guys. Lots of new hairstyles. Um, okay. And then there's this one here, which I also like. Um, this one came with the update, but it also fits in pretty perfectly. This hairstyle here too, which is very Sims to me. I don't know. I like it, but I'm not in love with it. This one here is super duper like Miley Cyrus. I love this. Mm -hmm. Um, I also like the, um, this hair here, it's kind of like a little bit of an afro, but it has um, a little headband around it. It looks really, really pretty. And then when you change the hair colors, the headband changes, which I wish you could change the headband because sometimes yellow don't match what I'm wearing. You know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, let me see. We have this ponytail, which is pretty nice. I like this. I can, I can, I can dig it. Um, and then we have this low pony. Um, let me just kind of zoom out for you guys. And then this big voluminous hair here, which is also pretty damn snazzy. I love this. Uh, and then I think the last one reminds me of Pepper from freaking, um, what is it? 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 Uh, uh, oh, American Horror Story. There we go. It reminds me of freaking Pepper for some reason. And I don't know if that's a good thing, but it does. It totally reminds me of her. Um, okay, so I'm just going to put her in this random hair and then move on to the, uh, I think the makeup is pretty, pretty much like the same stuff that you saw earlier. It's just a little bit different for females, as you can see. Like we've got these more vibrant um, eyeshadows and things and then you know, just random, like, makeup stuff, too, as well. Ooh, these are actually really freaking pretty. Like, I love the way that that looks. Um, okay, so let me see, let me see. I think that's about it. We got the lipsticks and things like that. Some ombre lips, which I do like. They look pretty nice. Ooh, I like these gray ones right here. Like, those are pretty fancy. Like, she looks, she looks like a boss chick with those. So, yeah, so we got some ombre lips some other types of lips, and just ignore the way they look, um, because she has, like, custom crap on it kind of messes them up a little bit, but those are some new of uh, things of that sort. Then the accessories. Oh, I actually do have a bow. Oh, 
I had no idea. <laughs> I was wondering if I ever downloaded that. Um, I think we have some new accessories for the women as well, but I'm not sure. Okay, so we have these necklaces. Oh, this one reminds me of my Grammy. Um, just a lot of different types of, of pieces here. This is actually super freaking gorgeous and classy. I like that. It's about freaking time, you guys, that they added in some new necklaces. I love those. Uh, and then I think we pretty much saw all the makeup items. Um, yeah, we did. I'm pretty sure that we did. Oh, no, there's a couple other ones, too, in there. There's just so much content. It's really hard for me to show it all to you. All right, so if we go into the um, top section, we've got these new sort of um, outfit things, tops, <laughs> I guess you could say. Sorry, I get a little burnt out when it comes to cast because I just want to play. But those are some of the new um, tops and things like that. And then we're going to go ahead and stroll on down. I love this. This is kind of very Aztec-y, tribal theme sort of um, sweater. Like I literally have something like this and I would rock this all day or day. Uh, and then I believe while she's spinning around making herself all sorts of dizzy, uh, we have this top here, which is actually my all-time personal favorite. It's kind of like a high-low crop top sort of deal. I love it. I really, really do. They did freaking superb um on the these items and stuff like this even here is just really 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 gorgeous to me and i love in the back how there's these little like hearts and again it kind of has like this crop top ish sort of thing going on here um i'm gonna go ahead and put her back in this uh top actually and then we have the bottoms so i have these cut off shorts here which are beautiful. Um, they have like kind of like this faded, not faded, but frayed bottoms. These ones are definitely my favorite, something I personally would wear. We've got some slacks that kind of have like a bell bottom-ish part to them. And also they're very fitted, um, super duper, like, I don't know, not cat classy, but kind of. And then these shorts here, which pretty much show you booty cheeks and they look like you spilt some tapatio on you, but that's cool. I like them though. Uh, and I think that's it, right? Do we have anything else? Nope. Okay. Full outfits, everybody. Full day outfits. We have, I don't know if this is a new one. I think it is because it's freaking gorgeous, but holy guacamole. It totally shows the Tata crevices. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. And this one. Okay. And then there's this, which is like a very business savvy outfit, which I adore. And then this is gorgeous to me. It is a maxi dress sort of ensemble. Very, very freaking stylish. I love it. Um, okay, anything else that we've got going on here? I think that's pretty much about all for the um, full outfits. I can go ahead and show you some style, look, style looks. We have the romper, rockabil rockabilly, rockabilly. So pretty much it's a romper. And I love that. Oh, different variations of that as well. Super gorgeous. And then we have the boho uh, bonanza, oh, which is nice probably stuff. my favorite. Love it. Especially with the boots and these little socks. Um, so those are the new outfits that we get. And those are some new thigh high knit socks which are pretty cool i like those and then i think we have some tights as well unless i downloaded these then ignore what i'm saying but i'm pretty sure these are girl your tonies are hanging out <laughs> i'm pretty sure these are new we have some pearls here uh, a new cuff um the okay so these are actually some brand new leggings which i had just downloaded a heck of a bunch but these are totally perfect i love those um there's some heart print ones and just some regulars uh and then again the socks shoes i haven't checked those out yet so they're um these like tom tom like not tom toms but like tom sort of shoes and then new boots and sneaks and i think these are called clogs sort of right and then flats of course uh, anything else that we've got new in here? Um, I think that is about it for the females. Okay, so for the teens, I think you pretty much get exactly the same stuff. I'm not noticing anything too, too different. Um, so we're going to go ahead and skip those just because probably everything that's available for your teens is also available for your adults. Okay, so let's go ahead and show off some of the new kid content, which I'm sure there is some brand new things. Uh, there's this hairstyle here, which is super cute. Kind of reminds me of a smaller version of the other one that we saw for the men, I think it was. And then I don't think there's any new hats or anything. I could be wrong. Um, I do believe that these earrings are new, which are super freaking cute and stylish, like 
finally we have freaking earrings for the kids like I could you kind of look like Urkel son just a little bit um but I finally feel like wait I finally feel like I finally feel I feel like it's about time that we get some earrings like what are we in like the freaking you know like 18th century I don't understand uh these glasses are also new and super duper like fashion fashionable I like them and then these ones here too are pretty pretty snazzy why is he turning around <laughs> I don't know somebody somebody get that boys and sense okay there we go uh and then the little dudes also get some necklaces but we're gonna go ahead and make him um you know a little a little naked here and there is the new beaded necklace there is also um that's it and it comes in a different flavor, couple different flavors. So actually, Ace looks really cute as a little boy. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Really? The necklaces? That's it? That's all there is? Okay, cool. So easy. Um, moving on to the outfits. Looks like there's a couple new shirts or a new shirt, which I really like. Very nice. Um, and let's check out the bottoms, I think. All right. So here are the little um, pants which look really, really nice. I'm like loving, like even in my own personal life, I'm loving cuffed jeans at the bottom. And then these ones here are like these distressed denim jeans. And then we have some skinny denims, which I also really for lipping, for ripping, flipping love. And then um, these guys up here, which are basically like a variation of these two. They're skinny denim with a cuff, pretty much. I love them. Okay. Uh, anything else? Do we got some full outfits? I think we do. We get, really? Yeah, we do. We get this little, um, suspenders sort of set here, which I do think those are quite cute. Uh, and of course, everything comes in different colors, um, but you get to explore that on your own. So, here's some new shoes, I think. No, no, no new shoes. Sorry, these came with, um, the outdoorsy pack or whatever, but these little cuties definitely come with this. And then these little, um, loafers here. Any new accessories or anything? Um, we get another pair of mitch, mismatched socks, which I think is adorable. And then um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think we pretty much covered everything, actually. Okay, so let's go into the girls. Uh, we're start off with the hairs. Oh, actually, let's just check out the um, styled looks real quick if there's any new ones. Nope, doesn't appear to be. That kind of sucks. Really? Nothing? Nothing. Okay, yeah, there's the hipster mini, which is super freaking cute. And then the trike messenger. And so those are the two new little um, outfits, I think. Did I show you guys? I did, I did. Okay, so for the females, um, we are going to go ahead and start off with hairs. Uh, we got this new braided look. That's pretty much the only new hairstyle, but I really do like that. I think it's quite cute. Um, and then the same little boy hairstyle or girl hairstyle. Girls can wear whatever boys can. Um, but yeah, that's where we saw that one in the boy section. And then for the hats, I do think that we... I don't think the boys get this one, but for some reason the girls do. Uh, and the accessories. Oh, hell no! We get these little freaking earrings. Yes! We are so winning. Okay, so we get these little heart earrings, which are flipping adorbs, dude. I love those. Oh my god. Yes. Loving these earrings. And also we get the studs. Yeah! Okay. And the same pair of glasses that you saw earlier also come in the pack. Okay? All right. Um, and we get one new necklace besides the one that the boys get too. Cool. All right. So I think I kind of covered everything. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the tops. Uh, we get this new little kitty shirt, which I freaking am in love with already. This is so freaking cute. This top here, which is really adorable. Oh my goodness. I love that. And we get this rainbow um shirt which is perfect for girls super duper freaking colorful and i love those three new tops eee! okay <sighs> i just want to go play now <laughs> all right um shorts yup got it uh more pants and these little um thingies here for everyday full day outfits um i don't know if we we also get the same jeans that the boys got so that's cool i thought so so we, you might see some duplicates there uh, anything in here? Looks like the girls get these little socky thingies, 
but they're kind of like leg warmers. They're not really socky thingies. They're more like leg warmers, Jen. But yeah, and then the mis the mismatched pair of shocks, the shacks that we saw earlier. All right, the final um, shebang is these new bunny slippers. These new um, little like same kind of Tom Tom situation, Tom's situation that we had earlier. These little booties and ooh, these beautiful boots. I like those and. Uh, and these shoes too those are really nice okay and then the loafers and those guys too right same thing okay cool uh let me go and see if there's any new full body stuff we do get this oversized sweater which i freaking am in love with because it has like little bunny ears did that really yeah you know it did it's so cute i love it um and then this oversized sweater as well I like this. I really, really do. Those are really nice. And this dress. Oh, I love this dress. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, the, I showed you these shorts, didn't I? Or no, these aren't. Okay. These are different. Um, different pack. I'm sorry. I get confused sometimes. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it for everything, I would say. Um, here are some of the new uh, everyday outfit here. And then we got that, the Mr. Fluffies and Beanie. And then we also have the Irony Starts Young, which I don't get, but that's cute. <laughs> All right, guys. So the last thing I want to show you is also um, the aliens, obviously. So if you go into Add a Sim and you click Add Alien, this is the new aliens. So we have, um, we got, we're going to have a boy and a girl. And this is kind of what they look like here. You can pretty much do whatever you want i think for the aliens as you would um you know regular regular sims or whatever so it seems like you can only really mess with is their face shape you can also change like their color if you wanted to um i know that they have disguises and stuff so i do want to actually play with these in game i just want to incorporate it some way in like a story but they um, are allowed to use all the makeup and stuff like that if you wanted to this is a good way to kind of customize your alien but all this other stuff is disabled apparently aliens cannot grow hair they just cannot or wear caps or you know have facial hair or anything so they're kind of like little naked mole rats and then these are their outfits um and i think they come in different colors too and pretty much everything else is disabled um except for those so i don't know if they're constantly always in that outfit or what but uh i think you can get tattoos which is kind of cool it looks like these are some two new tattoos um and they have these tattoos so that's cool i did not realize that there was going to be new tattoos but these like seem like they're specifically for aliens but i really do like those actually <laughs> even if they are just for aliens and here's some of the new body stuff and it looks like if you have cc installed have at it because your aliens can indeed wear it hmm i like that that looks a little interesting okay um so i think that's pretty much it for the alien factor i don't know what they do or anything i haven't played with them but i just wanted to go ahead and show you real quick how to put an alien in your game and also you can put some clothes on them if you have cc yeah buddy all right guys so i'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap up this part here this is basically the introduction the cast uh and then the next part we will go ahead and get our hands down and dirty by officially playing get to work for the first time <laughs> 